My name is Kim Tailforth, and I played the character of Nancy Ray, which was Billy Ray's mum, um, long lost mum, actually. Um, Billy was one of the, the baby face firemen in London's Burning. Right, I had um, just recently uh, left the police force because I um, left acting for 15 years and joined the Metropolitan Police. Um, but unfortunately, I was um, uh, attacked on duty and had to be medically pensioned out of the police force. And I rang my agent um, on the Monday and I said to her, I'm, I'm leaving the police force and I want to come back into acting, you know. And she said, oh, I've got a friend that's looking for somebody for London's Burning at the moment. And the next thing I knew, I was being interviewed for the part of Billy Ray, literally, for the part of Nancy Ray, I beg your pardon, um, literally about a week later. So I left the police force and went into London's Burning within a week. Um, so I was very, very lucky and very happy. I was meant to be, if I remember rightly, Andrew, Billy's long lost mum, I had, I became pregnant by somebody else, another man. And um, I left with that man and left Billy, if I understand it right, when he was about six. And he, he was brought up by his nan. He lived with his nan. And then I came on the scene when he was a fireman and looking for him, trying to, like one of those long lost family stories, you know, trying to rekindle our relationship. Well, that was very easy because we both went to the same drama school. We both were trained by a lady called Anna Schur, um, who had lots of people at a drama school. There were Pauline Quirk, Linda Robson, Gary and Martin Kemp, Ray Burdis, um, my sister Gillian. Um, oh, crumbs, Phil Daniels, uh, Kathy Burke. We all went through the Anna Schur system. There's lots more. I'm, I, I can't go through everyone. Obviously, we'd be here all afternoon. Um, and Johnny was one of them. And I knew Johnny as a, as a cheeky little 13-year-old. Um, and, uh, and so when I was playing his mum, it was like being, you know, I knew him. I, I knew him. I'd grown up with him. Yes, um, I remember um, working, you know, meeting like Richard Wolf, uh, Walsh, Glenn Murphy, James Heseldine, who else, Michael Garner, Sean Blowers, Andrew, I, well, Andrew Kazemia, I think you pronounce his name. I fancied him something rotten when I was um, watching London's Burning. So I was so excited about going into it and seeing him in real life. And he was just as handsome in real life as he was on the TV. I fancied him something rotten. Um, so I went in in 95 to 98. So all those cast members were in it at the time. And, um, and they were lovely. They made me extremely welcome. And um, a lot of them knew my sister as well. So it was like, oh, you're Jilly's sister, aren't you? Oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And just made me welcome. And it was great fun. Yeah, the storyline. Um, I was in it for three years. It's on every, you know, six, three years. I mean, three seasons, if you get what I mean. Um, and... Uh, I think the storyline just finished. I think um, John uh, lost his job there, didn't he? As, as one of the um, uh, firemen, firefighters. So basically they didn't need his mum anymore and it just stopped. 
that, which was a shame. But can I tell you something else on that? Before London's burning even started, the um, what do the pilot was written by Jack Rosenthal, as you know, the very famous Jack Rosenthal. Well, I had been in a film of his called The Knowledge. I was the lead girl in a film called The Knowledge, and he wanted me straight away as the firefighter. This was before it all started. Um, he wanted me to play the female firefighter, and offered me the part, but I had already been accepted at Hendon Training School to become a police officer, so I couldn't do it. So it wasn't until many years later that I was then cast as Billy's mum. So um, I would have been in it for a longer period of time had I not chosen to go into the police force. Not really. Um, I I had longer hair then than I've got. They used to like putting it up quite a bit because it made me look a little bit older because I was quite fortunate to not look my age when I did London's Burning. I looked younger than I actually was meant to be. So they tried to make me look a bit older and put um, less makeup on me so that I, so I wasn't so made up if that makes sense, yeah. So, um, but they were very, they were lovely. They were, it was lovely. And my costumes were just normal costumes that any mum would wear, you know. <laughs> um, I just remember it being a lot of fun. One thing I do remember was the pub that's used in London's Burning, the pub that they all go to, is a work, it, it is a set, it was a set at the studios, but it was a working pub. So they could actually pull pints and you could get a drink. So when filming had finished at the end of the day, they all used to just go onto the set and, and go to this pub as if it was a real pub, but it was actually the set. Um, and we used to meet up there and have a few drinks. Um, but if you can, Imagine, I wasn't an awful lot to do with the firemen because my storyline was with Billy and his nan. So they weren't seen, they weren't filmed at the fire station. I think I had one or two where I walked into the fire station to see where Billy was, to ask about Billy. And I met some of the firemen then, but most of the time I wasn't with them which was a shame, yeah, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. Yes, there, we actually, I think if I remember rightly, we did a scene together because she didn't like me. Uh, you know, I mean, the character didn't like my character, but we got on well. But if I remember rightly, the characters didn't like one another because obviously I'd left him you know, as a child, and she was left to bring him up, as the storyline was. So we didn't like one another. And I'm trying to remember, Andrew, I'm so sorry. It was so long ago. But um, I think there was a, an argument scene in it where or a snipe where she sniped at me at a funeral or something, you know, I was at a family funeral and she was there and she sniped at me. But I can't remember any more than that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> right. OK, I've just finished Panto at Christmas. I was um, in Beauty and the Beast in Peterborough and I was playing the Good Fairy. Um, but um, I'm not sure whether everybody knows, but about four years ago, I um, became disabled. I had a virus that hit my, my spinal cord and it uh, made me um, paralysed from the waist down. Um, I can walk now. It took me many years to start to walk again. Um, but obviously acting is a bit difficult for me because I am actually disabled and I walk with a crutch sometimes. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe 
I might get some work as a disabled actress. But what I'm what I've also done is I've um, trained to become a celebrant, which means I can do weddings and funerals and naming days and um, commitment ceremonies and all things like that. So um, if if no acting work comes in, then I can um, carry on working doing that. Hopefully it will. As a disabled actress, I can carry on. Who knows? Um, it, things are becoming very diverse now, aren't they, on TV um, and things. So maybe they might want a disabled actress in something. <laughs> You're so welcome, Andrew. Thank you for asking me. <laughs>